we're going to learn the remaining part of the song for of Joyful Journey, and this is the clarinet, first clarinet part. We're going to start the two notes before 42. This is called the pick up the 42. Now these are high notes. The high notes are C, B flat, D, E, F, and then D. So C is everything, one, two, three, four, five, six, bottom pinky, top row, bottom pinky. And remember you're going to tilt your thumb up so you hit that octave key. We know the B flat, A key, back key. And then back to D, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. You're gonna lean on that octave key. And then the E, it's two, one, two, three, four, five. Again, you still have the octave key down. High F, four fingers with the octave key. And then back to D, six fingers. So at 42, you have six, five, four, back to six. And you're gonna keep that octave key down the whole time. Here we go. Starting on the high C, two notes before 42. One, two, three. <laughs> you can take it down you can write those notes in and write it down an octave so it'll be low C first finger B and then you have D E F and then D again okay we'll work on the high notes though so again here's 42 two notes before starting on the C one two three <laughs> four measures rest. This next section, you have a G to an F. A G is one, two, three, hitting the octave key. To the F, which is four fingers with the octave key. So all you're doing is moving that fourth finger back and forth. And they're eighth notes and you're going to connect, there's also slurred, so you're going to connect two notes. So instead of going G, F, separated, you're going to connect them, you're going to slur them. And we're going to do that for two whole measures. So here we go after the four measures rest. One, two, three, four. And now we're at 52, the next page. The next page, you know these notes. So you've got C, F, B flat, A, G. So let's just try that. 52, first two measures. One, two, three, four. The next one, C, F, B flat, high D, six, high D, six fingers with your tilting your thumb on the octave key, and then a C, all you're going to do is add your pinky on the bottom, so. And then the last part, E, F. A, high D, six fingers, and you're gonna hold that for eight counts, four plus four. There you go, I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, one, starting on the E. One, two, three, four, one. We're gonna start at 52 and try playing through the whole section. Here we go. One, two, three, four. measures rest. The next note is a high C, so that's six fingers, one, two, three, four, five, six, top row, bottom pinky, holding the octave key, and we're going to start with the C for four counts. One, two, righty, play. And then we're back to those G to F slurs, G to F, so it's going to be three fingers of the octave key to four fingers of the octave key, just back and forth. And you're going to do that for a really long time until you get to measure 74. So we're starting on the C, and then we're going to, after the five measures rest, and we're going to go all the way down to 74. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Next line, 
line 66. <laughs> If you need to stop and take a breath anywhere in there, you feel free to leave one or two notes out and then come back in. Okay, we're now at measure 74. The first three notes at 74 are C and then E, which is going to be five fingers with the octave key, and then D, six fingers with the octave key. So here you go. So you're going from pinky to five to six. Keep the octave key down. Number 74. One, two, three, four. <laughs> And then the next part, you have A, B flat, add your octave key to C. You gotta put everything down plus your pinky and the octave key. And one, two, three, four. You gotta really slide your fingers down and get those holes down. One more time. One, two, three, four. So I'm gonna start at, start at 74 and we're gonna stop there. Here we go. One, two, 74, and. part we just have a scale it's an F major scale so we're starting on the F and you're going all the notes in order F G A B flat add your octave key keep the octave key down we're going to the C with the pinky D six fingers E five fingers F four fingers so starting on the half note F that we stopped on I'm gonna count one two and then we'll start one two <laughs> And then you have an E, which is five fingers, the next section. So the next section, starting on that last note, we have E five fingers. The next line, line you have a D. So we're just going from five to six, E, D. And then we're going F, E, F, F, E, F. So you're just moving your fifth finger here back and forth all the way until we get to 83. So we're going to start the last note of the third line from the bottom. Here we go. One, two. <laughs> note before 83. You have a C to an F, so you're going to go six fingers, bottom pinky, the octave key, to F, which is four fingers. From C to F, no pinky. Here we go. And then back to C. So we're moving everything down, back to everything. Okay, here we go. One, I'm going to count one, two, three, and then we're going to start one note before 83. One, two, three. <laughs> Remember that F is held for six counts. It's four plus two. It's connected to the next line. The last section, we have C, F, G, high C. Six fingers, bottom pinky. And now, the last three notes, they're Fs. Now, if you look, it has a three underneath it. That means that it's a triplet. So you're going to count three beats, three notes inside of one beat. So if this is your beat, one, two, three, Four, it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it'll be one and a two. One and a two. F, 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 F. One, two, three, one. Okay, so let's try that. Starting on just the F. So if F is one, two, three, four, flip your thumb for, on the octave key. One, two, ready, play. Do it again. One, two, ready, go. Good. So now let's start the Allegro Spirito. I'm going to count that one measure rest and then we'll play. One, two, three, four. Great. We're going to go all the way back to number 42 with a pickup. So two notes before 42 and we're going to play through the whole entire song. Do the best you can. When you're practicing this, I suggest stopping at different parts of the song that you need to work on. And then um, when you can play those different sections, then try and put it together. Here we go. Number 42 with the pickup. I'm going to count one, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> Then 
have four measures rest. Here we go. I'm going to count the fourth measure. One, two, three, four. Five measures rest. I'm going to count the fifth measure rest and then we'll keep going. Five, two, three, four. Great job. Remember, you can always log on during my office hours, 9 to 11, and then again 1 to 3, and I'd be more than happy to um, work with you.